also known as Stone Cold Steve Austin, as well as The Punisher, The Undertaker. Okay, so at first they're already establishing how tall he is, six foot eight, pretty giant. Also, they gave him a weird fake ponytail, I think. That's hilarious. And so look at that gear right there. This is several matches in for The Undertaker, and he's already kind of established himself as something more than what he was as just a jobber. And there's Steve Austin just absolutely jacked. Seriously great shape. That potato diet is BS, I'm sure, but at this point. Next paycheck come in. So then for breakfast, a potato. Lunch is a potato. Dinner was a potato. Just pill with a pocket knife. He looks good. The tights are crap. Blonde hair is not my favorite for him. At least looking back on it now. See, the Undertaker's backing Austin up into the corner already. And this is not necessarily a squash match, but it kind of is. But Jeez. this is outdated, by the way. This is uh, 89, I believe. See how he snatches the head? And look at right here. This is actually incorrect posture. So his foot should be backwards. And they're actually going to tell this story a little bit. I don't know if it's on purpose, but his foot should be facing the other way because otherwise he could just pull himself backwards like that and essentially get out of the hold. So you see the subtle, subtle hair pull there. And look, now they're establishing that Austin is actually a better wrestler. You see a little bit more obvious there, but look at two times. So maybe expectation, expectation, violation. So this is the second time. And now look, you see how he's facing this way. That's the improper positioning for a headlock. And you see how his foot is this way facing us instead of backwards. Now this is gonna allow the Undertaker to be able to pick him up. Yep, just like that and drop him. Stiff rings, there's no give there. Off the rings. And then they did a lot of jump stomps then. It's really weird, it's very weird. But the jump stomp is actually pretty safe because all you have to do is jump and then you can kick them because they can be any position that they need to be or that they are. So if it's like a newer person, you can just kick them. Just hit them in a good spot and then you don't be too stiff. And the punches are good. The selling is really good, but this is, did you see the third hair pull? And then look, that's Undertaker already doing his clothesline this far back. And then this is going to be the finish. I wonder if it's in reference to Hogan's leg drop, and that's why he jumps. It's a squash match, right? But Austin was still allowed to shine. And I think that might have been something that maybe Brody might have had a part of playing in. You treat people fairly, and you can still manage to tell a story. 